bless up I and I roots and culture. This is Ras Aija. And you don't know what I say, great is the company of those that publish the word. And so far, the item has been publishing the word, so great are the company of those. Rastafari! Yes, blessings to one and all. I and I root some culture here with our boy, Professor Michael Barnett, and we're here to introduce his new book, Rastafari in the New Millennium. Yes, I, Michael. Tell us about the book. Yes, I. This book is a cutting-edge book by Rastafari. It gives you a, a modern perspective, a new perspective on Rastafari, because... The millennium, the African millennium has just transpired, you know, 2007. So we're five years into the new millennium and Rastafari has evolved from its inception in the 30s in Jamaica to now. So, you know, the book really details the evolution of the movement. And this book comprises a very a rich mix of articles. I want to say this book here as a whole blend of articles. It's not just single offered. You have a whole heap of offers. You have Sister Imani Tafari. You have offers like um, Dr. Jelani Naya. Offers like Lawrence Bambi Cole, Barry Chivans. Whole heap of people who write on Rastafari and bring forth the knowledge, you know? What the book tries to do is give a very critical and deep analysis on where the movement is now. Um, my assertion is that the movement is at a crossroads. We are at a crossroads, people, where we can either move toward greater fragmentation and a weakening of the potency of the movement, or we can have a coming together and a strengthening of the movement. But trust me, this the fifth year in the new millennium we are truly at a crossroad we have the we have the, 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 the goals but we need to bring that unity and that, the, the necessary energy to make the goals then materialize you see because we have the goals we are talking about you know a fleet of ships seven mile of black star line and all them thing there but them thing now go up just so you know we have to make it happen we have to make it happen because if we don't make it happen how it's gonna happen right man and man i talk about repatriation yeah but the repatriation now go just happen so you know they're gonna take time effort and energy for i and i for repatriate it takes action then action so, so this book really gives us uh, a modern perspective on how Rastafari is now then, and what we probably should be and what we should do. Yes, most definitely, because we're living in a modern time, right, right, right. and we have to adopt a modern approach. Right, right. Um, but, but do you think it conflicts with our... Um, well, our kind of our belief system, because you know, um, Rastafari, we tend to anything with Babylon. We don't want you know to associate with. I mean, how do you see us now? Do you see us more embracing? I don't want to say Babylon, but embracing certain things that maybe we were not embracing before, in order for us to move forward. This is a very good question but I would say there's good and bad in many things and um, in terms of technology in general technology in and of itself is not a bad thing you know right, right, it's not right, a bad thing right, right. so you know yeah the cell phone is good and it's bad you know man and man have blackberry a blackberry yeah it has its drawbacks but it also have the benefits faster communication, more instant communication, you know? It's how you use, right, right, right. how we use these things we have, right, you know right. what I mean? Money in and of itself, you know, money in and of itself, the paper, the thing we call money, I don't think it's evil in and of itself. Right, right. Me too. I, I know it's how it is used right, right. and it is how people make their minds be affected by this thing we call right, money, right, you know? Right. So it's a thing we just really have to meditate on, but this whole thing now, 
we have certain goals. We want to achieve the goals, right? We have to be practical. We have to be... Realistic. Ah, realistic, my realistic, brother. Right. Realistic, yes. So, um, um, do you see that in the near future? Do you see us as a Rastafari movement now pushing forward? Like, really trying to make this realistic? Or you think it's something that we really have to start to really work on more? Building that... You know, bridging the gap or building a unity in which we can now push forward this 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 agenda. You know, building our ships. You know, communicating with Africa and repatriating, and you know, and building a whole uh, 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 economic economic empire that sustain uh, you know our nation. Because I I know that Rastafari has been always chanting Marcus Garvey. You know what I mean? But a lot of us seem to be stuck into the the biblical part of, of Rastafari rather than the realistic, you know, real repatriation, real economic building, real, um, how you say, um, pushing forward and them things. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? Well, as I said before, we, we're going to come in together in many occasions. And to be honest with you, we're very good at reasoning and discussing. But the action is where truth be told, we are found wanting. Yeah, man, because we reason up on everything. Reasoning sweet. Love the reasoning, but if there's no action, then what's, how things going to change? Yeah, how things going to change? Because years and years I and I are talking about repatriation and reparation, yeah? You know, I, I do feel we have the tools, we have the means, we have the res well, maybe not a lot of results, but we do have something now that we can we can actually make a difference. We have we have the knowledge. Everything is is in front of us right now for us to use and utilize. But I guess it's for us now to to be more um to to to, to be more how you say, willing to do things rather than just sit down and talk about it and reason about it, to now push forward with the works, you know? Most definitely. Um, I and I have to, yeah, we have to take a critical look at how we move forward. Because my thing is, we talk and we discuss things we have a reasoning, whether it be upon the internet, whether it be in a in a in a open space, wherever the reason may be. But the words without action is not doing it right now. You know, the action have to have to be there. So that is what we have to look at. We have to be self-critical. You know, because a lot of people. You know, it's another thing. We don't like to be too critical sometimes of our I and I self. But if we want to move forward, brethren, we have to accept. It's like we do have to accept certain realities in this life and in this world in order for us to push forward. Because we probably, some of us are probably closed up into our own beliefs and, and, and fanatic ways. So in order for, and you know, you're right. Uh, Rastafara is one type of people who can reason. And we have the ability to reason. And I feel in this time we should really critically analyze ourselves and, and reevaluate ourselves and reevaluate certain things that we are doing, see what works and what doesn't work, and for us to push forward. Right? So I want to thank you, Professor Barnett, for you know, giving us, sharing us with your, your little words of wisdom. And thank you for bringing out, uh, um, you know, bringing forth this book here, Rastafari in the New Millennium. You know, I uh, suggest everybody to go and get a copy. You know, online, wherever books are sold or, or contact, you know, where, where can we reach you to get these books? Well, right now, the books can be found on Amazon.com. Can also be found on SyracuseUniversityPress.com. Um, but, you know, basically, I and I could even drop I'm on an email, a simple email, michael.barnett zero at gmail.com michael.barnett zero at gmail.com and we'll see what can work but 
it out there, man. The knowledge is there. But the key thing is that I and I need the self-critical for move forward, you know? Yes, I. Give thanks, Michael Barnett, you know? And, and as I, I urge everybody to go to get the book. It, it gives a, 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 a new perspective and a, a, a modern perspective of the Rastafari community and the Rastafari people in this time, you know what I mean? And this here would help us to, to, to learn a little bit of how we can move forward, you know, as a Rastafari community to, to, to um, make the things happen that we need to happen within the movement. Anyways, you don't know, I know Rusan culture. Give thanks. Yes, greetings. And right about now, this is Dr. Michael Barnett. Big enough, I and I, roots and culture every time. Give thanks for the works and the strengths. Give thanks. Blessed love. Bless up, I and I, roots and culture. This is Ras Aija. And you don't know me what I say. Great is the company of those that publish the word. And so far, the item has been publishing the word. So great are the company of those. Rastafari.